Okay, so this is the caps machine. There are a few parts to it I'm going to explain. This is the front door. As you can see, there's these two knobs that swing around and screw in to lock it in. Um, there's two plates here. One's white, one's black. Black goes on the bottom, white goes on the top. And it's kind of hard to see there, but there's two notches on each of those, and that determines the size of the holes in each plate. Um, we also have another set that have three notches in each. You just slide those in there. Um, here is a pill setter or a capsule setter. Um, as you can see, there's also two notches. It's kind of hard to see on the white and the black plate of that. Now, what this does is you take your empty capsules. Um, I'm going to use blue here, but you'll be using clear in class just so you can see better. Um, you take them out and you place them on this and you fill in each hole. Now, what this does is it places each capsule into each hole of uh, this next plate I'm going to show you and it actually rotates the capsules in the correct orientation so that the correct side is on top and the other side is on the bottom. Um, this is important because one side is bigger than the other and holds more uh, powder for the capsule. Um, so you set your capsule machine, you lock it in kind of loosely and this is the top plate I was just telling you about. As you can see, there's two notches. Um, the capsule machine does 100 at a time, but the thing that has the capsules in it now, the capsule setter, only holds 50 at a time. So you have to set it in there and push it either to the right or to the left. You then press the white on top, and they all drop down. You can do it a few times just to make sure they all get in there. But as you can see, every other row is now filled with capsules in the correct orientation. If I want to set more, I would just place it to the other side and do the same thing. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to unlock the front of the capsule machine, pull those off. I'm actually going to wiggle the two bottom plates just so the capsules can drop down on them because they're a little offset that they couldn't drop down. So I'll just wiggle them so they could drop down, look out and see if any are still sticking up, you might have to push them down. And then lock the front door again uh, pretty tightly. I place this plate on top. I swing these knobs around to lock it onto the top white plate I showed you earlier. I then use these blue metal pieces to lift up that top piece I just put on. And as you can see, there's some few that didn't get pulled up all the way or that got left behind. So all you gotta do is pick them up and put them in the holes that they belong into. Um, there's still some that might have gotten pulled out a little bit. Um, again, you'll just have to push those down when we release the front door. So as you can see, that's perfectly done there. We release this front door by turning the knobs. And when it drops down, we wiggle the plate a little bit and we'll have to push down any that are still sticking up. Make sure it's pretty smooth and flat. Again, this will have all the capsules in it and not half full. This is a bumper that you can put on. Um, you put it on and then you would fill the drug and your um, cutting powder in it, spread it all over, pack it in. Um, you then make sure that's tight again, place the other part of the capsules on top, and then you loosen this front door, allow it to drop down. And there's a plate on the bottom here that it's kind of hard to see. But that plate will push up on the bottom side of the capsules and will force them together, which the other half of the capsules that are on the plate we removed earlier. So I push up, kind of use a little bit of force, not too much, don't want to crush anything, and you pull it off. And as you can see, all the capsules are now back together. They're sealed and they're locked. And uh, once we pull them out of there, we'll be able to dispense them to patients, uh, if that's all.